Hey, McDowan here. Today we are taking a look at the 4-inch Fortnite action figure, the Ice King from Jazzwares. I know what you're thinking, we've already seen the Ice King. Well, this is a different version. Anyway, out of impatience, I ordered this from the UK and I want to send a big shout out to IDH Custom Toys for his help in getting this. I really appreciate it. This figure should be about $9.99 when it arrives at Walmart in the States. Anyway, let's take a look at the back of the box. The Ice King, all hail the ruler of ice and snow. In the middle we have the cross sail. We have now looked at all of these figures. And for those who want to see the barcode, here it is. All right, let's free this action figure from the package. If you're new to the channel, welcome, and please subscribe so you'll be notified of future videos. If you want to help the channel out and you play Fortnite, please feel free to add my creator code to your epic account. It's McDowan. The Ice King is a legendary skin, and he's part of the Ice Kingdom set. Released in Chapter 1, Season 7, this skin was part of the Battle Pass at Tier 100. To get this style, a player had to outlive 1,000 opponents. He comes with the Ice Scepter Harvesting Tool, we've seen this one before, and it looks pretty much the same. The only difference is that the coloring is just a little bit different, but other than that, yep, we've seen this before. This figure stands about 4 inches tall, has 28 points of articulation, and it is not a new figure. We have seen this actual figure before, just in a different color. It looks a little bit different. I think this actually looks really cool, though. Um, the package says black style, but I believe this is actually the red style. But you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. So we'll just do a quick overview. The head rotates. The head can look down. The head can look up, kind of. The arms can rotate if you want him to bend up his arms because of the shoulder armor. He only goes that far, but you can rotate his arms if you need him to put his hands straight up. His elbows rotate and hinge back and forth. Not, not a 90 degree, but eh, pretty close. His wrists rotate and hinge back and forth as well. He's got a torso wiggle. You can lean him forward, <laughs> kind of. You can lean him back, kind of. His waist will rotate, but you got to get your hands under all these loose pieces of rubber so you don't accidentally grab one of those and rotate the waist and rip a piece of rubber off. But the waist will rotate. If you want him to do the splits, well, yeah, he can. And his thighs have the rotation, just like all the other figures. Double pin at the knee. And finally, an ankle rotation and hinge. Now, you can get him to lean back. Well, if I can get his feet going straight here. Straighten him up there. You can get him to lean back about that far. You can't really get him to lean forward all that far. He's got some hindrance in the feet buckles. That's probably about as far forward as you're going to get this figure to lean. But again, like I said, I like the colors. I think this is pretty good. There's really nothing new here except this paint job, but I think that's a pretty good paint job. One reason I have been excited for this figure, not necessarily the character, because, well, like I said, we've gotten some before, but the, one of the main reasons I'm excited for this figure is it completes the Ice King set. There are four styles with the Ice King, and this is number four. There was the gold style, the blue style, then there was the style we got in i'm forgetting we've got two ice kings like in this drop of figures right here uh the other ice king came in the target five pack i believe and i can't believe i'm forgetting already uh which style it was he's so new but anyway yeah um it's been a good figure in the past and i still think it's a good figure you now have less customizing to do because they're all out Quick short review over a figure we've generally seen, but just a little bit of difference, kind of remind you of some things. The harvesting tool is, like I said, just a little bit newer in the color scheme. It looks a little bit different. So yeah, I think overall it's a good figure. And, you know, Fortnite in of itself, there's a lot of similar styles. And so there will be, I've mentioned in the far past, distant past, that there will be a lot of repaints with this line just because of how the game works anyway now it's your turn what do you think about this figure or this paint style leave your thoughts in the comment section below and before you head out before you get out of here if you haven't already check out my review of kit that came with that supply llama 
I really like the figure and I'm really wanting to share it with everybody who can who pops by here in the lower left corner. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like this video and share it everywhere. It really helps the channel to grow. I will see you in the next video.